Hey up, welcome back to the channel. It's coming up to that time of year now where it starts getting a little bit cold. And uh, as you've seen on some of my other videos, I've got this Chinese diesel heater, which I've been running now for, I don't know, two or three winters. Never had any problems with it, touch wood. So I just thought I'd give you sort of my top tips on what I think is good for them. It's only my personal opinion. Others might disagree, but um, this is my personal opinion. This is what I think. Right, tip number one for me is you use your heater throughout the, the winter months and you're using it sort of on a regular basis. As far as I'm concerned, you know, I might just use it at weekends because, you know, it's just in my garage and what have you. But anyway, I'm using it sort of pretty regularly where, when I come in here. Throughout the summer months, you're never using it. And probably the end of January, end of February probably, in the UK, um, up until probably October to November time, it isn't being used at all. My tip for this is, once a month, switch it on. Power it up, let it burn for 10 minutes and power it off. Um, I've done that ever since I've had mine and never had an issue when I come to fire it up come winter. I've read numerous stories where people say, you know, last winter it was great, I've come start up this time and it went, and it just won a fire then. But anyway, that's what I do on a regular basis. Whether it helps or not, I don't know. But it's, uh, I've, yeah, I've certainly never had any problems with it. So that's me tip number one. Tip number two for me is, if you can, use kerosene. Now, I know people, some people disagree. They say, you know, kerosene's got no oil, anything, this, that, and the other, and it damages the pump. But for me, kerosene burns a lot cleaner than diesel does. When mine's fired in, I get no smoke off it or nothing. Now, whether that, I'm just lucky with that, I don't know. But uh, it certainly seems to burn a lot cleaner. This as far as damaging the pump, say, because they say it isn't getting lubricated. Again, I don't really know. But the price of a pump, what's a pump? 10 quid. You know, if the pump gets damaged, then uh, I'll replace the pump anyway at some point. You know, the price of kerosene where I am is a lot cheaper than diesel. So I've saved far more than the price of a pump over a period of time. But uh, kerosene for me seems to be in a lot cleaner. Um, I got no smoke coming out of it. In which case I'm presuming is the inside of the unit is going to be clean. I've never had it apart. Um, so I can't confirm sort of what it's like inside. But I'm presuming because everything clean is clean coming out of the exhaust is what's inside is, is going to be pretty decent. So for me, if you can use kerosene, I think it's it's a lot better than than uh, diesel. Again, my personal opinion. Um, others might disagree, but uh, if you do, let me know and uh, and tell me the reasons why. But uh, that's my tip number two. Right, tip number three for me is um, when you've used your heater. I when I'm in my garage, I tend to crank the heater up on full when I'm first in here, and then I just have it ticking over, probably on setting two or something, it goes up to about five, and just to kind of keep the, the air temperature the same. What I've always done, before I've powered it down, is for the last five, ten minutes, I've turned it up full, so it gets hotter. Now... If there is anything building up inside the unit, hopefully, because you're burning at a higher temperature, if you like, it starts to burn off all that them bits of carbon. So, um, anyway, like I say, that's what I keep on doing. It's what I've always done uh, for the last two or three years. And uh, up to yet, the heater I've got has played ball. It's, it's, been, it's been okay. So, uh, that's me, tip number three. Tip number four for me is, if it's working all right, don't mess with it. I know you can go into like the menu settings, the service settings and stuff like that. And there's like a hidden menu where you can increase pump speeds and all sorts of things in there. Um, 
in my in my eyes, if it's if it's working all right, don't to touch it. You know why sort of speed some it up if it uh, if you don't really need to. If it's something you require, then obviously obviously you have to. But if you don't have to mess with the settings, the factory settings, then just leave them as are if it's working okay. Mine's always worked okay. I have had a little play with them settings, but I've always reverted back to factory settings. And uh, like I say, in the time I've had my, my system, I've never had a problem with it. So, uh, yeah, if you if you don't have to mess with the settings, just, just leave them as are. Tip number five for me is it's worth having one or two spares just in case. You know, people do have problems with these eaters. I know I've been lucky, so have I been lucky? I don't know. But anyway, um, it's always worth carrying one or two spares. And for the price of them, they're worth getting. And the, the part I'm thinking about is a glow plug for a starter, a temperature sensor, and the pump. Them seem to be the main the main things. And you can get all three of them for about probably 25 quid. So for the price of them, I think it's worth having one or two spares knocking around, just in case the inevitable happens and uh, and you get the dreaded the dreaded error code for one of them. So uh, yeah, tip number five: carry one or two spares if you can. Right, tip number six, and probably the most important one, is if you're running one of these, get yourself a carbon monoxide detector. Uh, for the price of them, probably 15 quid, set it in the vicinity of the heater itself and uh, just in case you get any exhaust gases escaping and it'll, uh, I mean it's it's a no-brainer really. So uh, for me that's the most important one and uh, make sure you get one. Okay that's it, um, hopefully that's been helpful to somebody. If people disagree with what I've said let me know in the comments um, you know everybody's got their own opinion on these things I can only go by my own experience I'm no expert uh, by any means with them and I can only go off what, what I've learned over the last probably three years of having this ET um, so yeah if anybody's got anything to say uh, let me know drop us a comment and uh, Thanks for watching. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be great. My numbers are gradually creeping up, so that's good. And uh, hopefully everybody with a, a diesel eater will have a, a warm winter. So, yeah, catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot.